just out of interest, I decided to look at the speed of a floppy disk drive and compare it to other drives, such as an M.2 NVMe, a 2.5 inch SSD, flash drives, a CD drive, and so on. The speed differences between the floppy disk drive and the fast disk drives of today are absolutely incredible, which I'll be showing you in this video. For those that don't know about floppy disk drives, let me explain the basics. Many computers in the 1980s and 90s came with a floppy disk drive pre-installed, and you can still buy one today as an external USB device. The disks that are used with them are called 3.5 inch floppy disks. The actual disk inside the casing can be seen by pulling the top part across. The typical amount of data these disks can hold are shown here. This doesn't seem very impressive today, as just one photo from a modern digital camera could potentially fill up any one of these disks. In fact, some photos won't even fit onto the largest one here. But they seemed okay back in their heyday, when file sizes were generally much smaller. So let's start by looking at the transfer speeds of one of the fastest drives out there at the time of this recording, then work our way back to the floppy disk drive to see how they compare. This is a very fast hard drive by Seagate. It's called the 2TB Fire CUDA 520 series NVMe SSD. It uses PCIe 4.0 technology and has a read speed of 5000 megabytes a second and a write speed of 4400. So let's put those results into a table here. Notice that this drive only takes 0.2 seconds to transfer 1 gigabyte of data. That is extremely fast. Next up is a 2.5 inch solid state drive. The 4 terabyte Samsung 860 Pro is one of the fastest 2.5 inch SSDs with a read speed of 560 megabytes a second and a write speed of 530. As you can see, it looks quite a bit slower than the top drive on this list, but it's still a very fast drive compared to many others. Slightly slower still, but still very fast, is this USB flash drive. It's by Corsair and is called the 256GB Flash Voyager GTX USB 3.1 Premium Flash Drive. It has a read and write speed of 440 megabytes a second. This is one of the fastest flash drives out there at the time of this recording, so let's put that into our table. Once again we've come down a little in speed compared to the others shown here so far. The next is a hard disk drive. This is one of the fastest hard disk drives at the time of this recording of course. It's the Western Digital Black 8TB drive that has a read and write speed of 263 megabytes a second. These are very good speeds for a hard disk drive, but we're now quite a way off from the fastest drive on this list. A fair bit slower still, we have one of the fastest USB 2.0 flash drives. This is the Transcend Jet Flash 600 64GB flash drive. It has a read speed of 32 megabytes a second and a write speed of 18. This is quite a jump down in speed on our list, but this is still very fast compared to floppy disk speeds, which we'll look at very soon. Next we have a DVD drive. The fastest commonly available DVD drives have a read speed of approximately 21 megabytes a second and a write speed of about 32. So we'll put this one in the table below the USB 2.0 flash drive as its read speed is slower. The DVD write speed is actually faster than the flash drive directly above it. But the trouble with writing to a DVD disc is that they very often have to be finalised after they've been written to, which can take an extra couple of minutes. So all in all, they deserve to go below the USB 2.0 device on this list. Next up, the CD drive. The fastest commonly available CD drives have a read and write speed of around 7 megabytes a second. After a CD disc has been written to, they often have to be finalised, just like DVD discs, which again can take an extra couple of minutes. So that's a bit of a drawback with writing to these discs. They're clearly slower than DVD technology, so we'll put CD drives below them. Next is the USB 1.1 standard. This technology has a top speed of 1.5 megabytes a second. This standard is so old now that you rarely see anything use it these days. So we'll put that on the list 
And whilst we're at it, let's put on the USB 1.0 standard, which has a top speed of only around 188 kilobytes a second. Now onto the floppy disk drive. The transfer rate for these drives are about 25 kilobytes a second. This will depend somewhat on the capacity of the disk being used, the floppy drive itself, and the size of the file or files being transferred. For example, lots of small files can bring the transfer speed down to around 10 to 15 kilobytes a second or slower. But one large file can bring the transfer speed up to about 25 kilobytes a second or faster. So as you can tell, this isn't an exact science, but we'll go with 25 kilobytes a second to compare it to other drives. So let's see how many times faster each drive is compared to the floppy disk drive. Well, as you can see, the M.2 NVMe drive is an incredible 200,000 times faster. If you were to only compare the floppy disk drive with other removable storage devices, there's the fast flash drive on our list, which is over 17,500 times faster. And even the now outdated USB 1.1 standard is 60 times faster. Also, if a floppy disk could hold a 1GB file, it would take just over 11 hours to transfer it from the floppy disk and onto the computer. That's incredible compared to the drive at the top of our list, which can do the same thing in just 0.2 seconds. Another thing that's quite amazing is how many floppy disks you would have to use for modern programs. For example, because Windows 95 couldn't fit onto one disk, it was spread across 13 disks, and you would have to put them into the floppy disk drive one by one, as the computer asked for them. That was quite a common way to install Windows back then, for those that didn't have a CD drive. But let's suppose you were to get Windows 10 on floppy disks. You would need about 2,500 of them. To install Windows 10 from floppy disks, that would take a minimum of 45 hours, but in reality, would probably take more like 90 plus hours, because floppy drives don't run as fast when dealing with multiple files. Luckily today though, Windows 10 can fit onto one DVD disk, a flash drive, or can simply be downloaded. For comparison, some of today's modern computers can install Windows 10 in about 20 minutes. And if you were to get one of today's modern games, such as Red Dead Redemption 2, that game would need about 80,000 floppy disks. That would take a minimum of around 50 days to install this game. That is, on paper it would take this long, but my guess is that, in reality, it would actually take over 100 days, or around 2,500 hours, to install this one game. I'm sure everyone is glad that we've moved on from floppy disks. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.